Hey guys, and welcome to another Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Today I've got a WWE Mattel Elite review for you. This one is from the new sub-series, the Monday Night Wars WWE vs WCW. And this one is, say hello to the bad guy, Scott Hall. One of my favourite, favourite wrestlers. He definitely led a tumultuous life and sadly passed on too early. But like from his time as Razor Ramon all the way up to his time as Scott Hall in WCW and in TNA and he came back with the WWE for a, a short NWO run. I always thought this guy was underrated and he was one of my favourites and so, so cool. Uh, I don't think anyone else could have pulled off Scarface like this guy did as Razor Ramon and part of the end of the original NWO, not the bloated mess that it became eventually in WWE, WCW. And yeah, Scott Hall in this outfit as well where he debuted on Monday Nitro. As always, I've always wanted a figure of this and there is a Kevin Nash coming in season, series two as well. So yeah, I was delighted to pick up this guy in Smith. I don't usually pay full price for WWE Elite figures, but for this guy, I was gonna do it and I'm happy I did. So let's take a look at the box for the bad guy. So let's take a look at the box for Scott Hall. As you can see here down at the bottom, let's bring this closer. You have the Builder figure, which is Lex Luger from when he debuted in WCW. And you have the Monday Night War. Same logo I think they used for the TV show as well that they did, the kind of documentary thing. You have Scott Hall here, you have a picture of the bad guy right here, with the window that shows off the figure on the side. Scott Hall, you got your certificate of authenticity there. On the back, you have Scott Hall in the ring. The, uh, the kind of WWE, WCW, WCW logo, not the classic ones. You have the, or the others in the line, which include Hollywood Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it does show here the full build of figure there, which looks quite cool. Not sure if I'll grab the rest of them yet though. Maybe when they go on clearance, because I do have different variations of these figures it does have all legalese here as well and on the bottom and on the other side is this horrible slightly smith's thing and if it's got a hard picture there so yeah let's get the bad guy out of the box so guys here is scott hall out of the box and up on the swing of my jig now i have to say the likeness on this figure is really really nice straight off the bat i really like this figure glad i bought it the one negative so far and I will I will go into more detail when I get him done off the swing of my jig but there is a very complete lack of detail on his shirt or on his top his jacket whatever you want to call it sleeveless jacket uh, there is zero detail on that compared to the pants uh, and other than that like really good figure I kind of wish there was um, a logo maybe on the microphone I think I think that's wrong I wish they'd done a WCW microphone rather than the standard WWE one. You could even see the WWE emblem on it, but it's blacked out, there's no paint. But like, there's, these are tiny, tiny things. But if you want to get it right, do it right, is what I say. And other than that, it's really nice. Very, very cool, go great with your WCW collection. Is there something off with the head sculpt? Maybe. It's a bit more animated than I'd like. But yeah, I really, really like this figure. So let's get him down and I can tell you more reasons why I do. So here we have Scott Hall down off the swing magic. And firstly, let's go through the accessories he came with. So he did come with these parts for Lex Luger. You've got the jacket here that opens at the back. And you've even got like two, you've got the build the figure arms and two extra hands as well to go with that. Now I would thought these would go better with Scott Hall himself, seeing as he's known for that hand gesture celebration type thing. But anyway, on the box it says they're for Luger, so we'll see. He does come with this extra head, which is more like the way he's, he looked when he debuted on Nitro that time. Again, there's something off with the head sculpts, I don't know what it is. They look good, but they're kind of animated, overly animated or something. And I suppose they can't get the real scan because obviously Scott isn't with us anymore. And if that's the reason, I'm willing to let that go, obviously. Uh, he does come with the standard two 
punching hands as well if you can see those there we go uh, he does come with this microphone as well now this isn't the microphone that he had on nitro at that time it's a wwe microphone you can see it in there if you could just take this part off it would be perfect again not game breaking stuff now with the accessories out of the way let's look at the figure itself so as i was saying earlier there's a real lack of detail on the shirt and like these could be like individually painted or something it just looks very looks very dead or something i don't know um yeah pretty poor stuff but um like especially when they did they did go the extra mile with the jeans it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't do it with the pants with the the shirt as well even the boots again they're standard black boots i don't suppose you can do much with that he has the belt buckle like it would be like now if they, they painted the belt, the belt buckle the same color as the pants but uh, other than that like it's just one letdown i suppose as for the head sculpt on the face this one is a lot better i feel you have the like kind of natural looking the natural kind of looking what do they call them wrinkles and the hair even that little thing down there is really good he does look really nice so yeah like this is a pretty cool scott hall figure and he will go well with the hulk will he so this is the ultimate the ultimate hulk hogan and nash is coming in series two as well so yeah nice one ask uh, articulation is the standard mattel bicep swivel double jointed elbow hands move in and out and around head came right off that is strange hold on so the head is quite uh, quite loose so let's just see if the other one is the same so again like this is, i haven't messed with this or anything it's the other one that feels a lot better though so the other one is like weird the other one's a bit tighter so yeah the other head was quite quite loose the way it came off there i don't know what that's about but anyway, we'll, we'll keep going. He does have the ab crunch there and the waist swivel. Legs will go out this far, up this far, a quite tight double jointed knee. We'll go all the way up. Boot swivel is fine, ankle rockers are fine. Pretty cool action figure here. If I was to give Scott a number out of 10, I would give him a low 8, I would say, so maybe 7.75. No, I'll stick with it. Pretty cool. Is it perfect? Hell no, it's not. But um, pretty workable figure. Quite cool stuff. And yeah, guys, if you like this review, subscribe. That would be awesome. I'm awesome. So I think anyway. <laughs> and yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Bye.